So let us consider this payment scheme. So let me just draw a timeline. This is time 0, time 1, time 2, all the way to time n minus 1, time n. So we, we receive $1 at the end of each period. So this kind of payment that happens at the end of each period, we call this an annuity immediate. So if I were to ask you, what is the present value of all these payments? How would you do it? So the obvious way to do this is to discount each of these payments back to time zero. So discount each and every one of these payments back to time zero, and then to just add them up. So the present value, we have a special notation for this, a n. The a specifies that it's an annuity immediate. The n specifies a number of payments. Well, this is equal to well, the first term discounting back to time zero, that's equal to v, right? v is a discount factor. Now the second payment, discounting back to time zero, we discount it by two periods, so we add v squared. And the same thing goes on. This we discounted by n minus one periods, and this we discount by n periods. So essentially we have a geometric series. So how do we evaluate this? So we just use the formula. The first term is equal to v. The comma ratio is also v, so 1 minus v. And we have n terms to the power of n divided by 1 minus the common ratio. So let me just go ahead and multiply the numerator and denominator, denominator by 1 plus i. So notice that, v, notice that v is actually equal to 1 divided by 1 plus i. So these two terms cancel out. So we're left with 1 minus v to the n. And the same happens in the denominator. So we have 1 plus i minus 1. And so we have this. And this is it. This is. This will give us the present value of this annuity payment here. So the second thing to ask is, so for the same kind of payment, all the way to, to this point. So just now we found the present value. So what if I told you to find the future value? So what is the future value at this time point? So we're receiving $1 every period. So what is the future value at this point? So this is also called the accumulated value. And the notation for this is Sn. So if we want to find the accumulated value, we just do the same thing. We add up all the future values of every single payment. So the $1 at time n is, of course, equal to $1, since we're considering the future value at time n. As for this one, we need to compound it by one period. So we add 1 plus i. So for the n minus 2 pay payment, we need to compound this by two periods. So we add 1 plus i to the power of 2. And it goes on and on until this one. So between time 1 and time n, there are n minus 1 periods, so we add 1 plus i to the power of n minus 1. So again, this is a geometric series, so we just apply the formula. So the first term is equal to 1, and the common ratio is equal to 1 plus i. And then we have, if you'll notice, n terms divided by 1 minus the common ratio. So uh, notice that these ones cancel out, so we have a negative i in the denominator, and this negative we can actually get rid of the negative and flip the terms on top, so we get uh, 1 plus i to the power of n minus 1 divided by i. So there we have it, this is our future value, or the accumulated value. So let me just consider something else. So we found these two formulas. So is there a way I can relate the two? So notice that for Sn, I can factorize this term out. Now this term here, this term, this is just v to the power of n, right? So if we write it as v to the n, we get back this. Well, this term here, this is just an, and so there we have it. Sn is actually equal to 1 plus i to the power of n multiplied by an. So we found a formula that relates these two 
two expressions. So essentially what it means is that given this uh, given this timeline. So the payments evaluated at time 0 is equal to an. And if we want to find sn, that's just equal to taking this value and then compounding compounding it all the way to time n. And uh, that would give us this expression here. So this is kind of useful. Sometimes you want to switch switch between the two. And now uh, this will give you the this will give you the two terms. So uh, there you have it. So this is just a quick video on the annuity immediate. Clip this helped. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.